It's gonna be okay. We're gonna be all right. It is 6.42, 6.47 in the morning, and we're gonna make it through the day because of that little red-beaked beauty right there. Going fishing with Lunkers TV. I know you guys like it. I know you guys request it. You like the adventures with Lunkers. We got one coming at you today. Go ahead and smash the like button for it because you never know what's gonna happen. Adventurous spirits out in the wild. Rob is kind of like a squirrel though, so I need some Chick-fil-A, especially some coffee, just to, just to get through the first hour of the day when I'm not really awake. He's already at an 11, I'm at like at a three. Today we got that old lake down the street that sometimes produces really good bags of bass, but most of the time doesn't. It's a difficult dangle, but I like difficult dangles, and we are officially in fall, and it is time for these fish to start feeding up on some shad. At least just start feeding up. The photo period's changing. Normally the sun would already be up you know, a month ago, but it is not. And sometimes that triggers fish to go ahead and start feeding, even if the temperatures are not on par, which they have not been. Hottest September on record and driest, I believe. I just want to see him blowing up Shad so I can throw something toppy top on him. Hey! Here he is. Look at Little that warming. beautiful man nipple right there. Hey. Twinkie. Do you just change so you can match me? I think so. I think so. These are great, guys. If you want, you know, like freedom of your body to move around and feel cool, these, uh, these shirts right here are great. They have this hood right here. It's like a ninja. You just go, bam, bam. It's like you don't even need a, a mask. Okay, Rob, you ready to do this? Yeah. All right. Oh, <laughs> give me a squat for old time's sake right there. Oh, there it is. Oh. Good to go, buddy. Leaves are just falling all around. Light breeze. Missing the opening, opening season. Whitetail deer season here in Texas. Me and Rob. Can you believe that? I think Rob's set, though. He's got a couple of large animals in the freezer. He's already had a good harvest. I love this time of year because literally there's just a lot going on in the outdoors. A lot of good hunting, a lot of good fishing opportunities, and there's less fishermen on the lake it seems like. You know spring and summer just gets hammered and then in the fall the bite can be phenomenal. Some of the best top water, best feeding action you've ever seen. But there's less anglers on the lake. Like normally the boat ramp would be packed. There's like two, two and a half boats here. Uh, I probably need that. Forgot about the things that make the movies? Hey everybody, we're rolling, yeah! Get a little wipe here, humid day, humid day. You know, I don't really know about this right here. Ah, there's not much to know. You just get to, there you go. <laughs> I like to hand line them early. I'm gonna start out with a backlash. There we go. It's only because Rob's in the boat. Yeah, go. Yeah. Probably gonna get hung up here. Motor's gonna hit the rocks. No, we're, we're good now. Here we go. Just lost a lure early. Backlash is strong. Dude, I might have an irreparable situation right off the go. That's hard. That's it's tough. Tough way to start the day. I gotta make a move here. It's decision time. I'm just gonna have to reel this in. And uh not fish with this rod is what's gonna happen. We'll work around it. Oh yeah, I got everything, man. They call me the Guggen Man. Mike took your crankbaits. All those crankbaits? Oh, well you had crankbaits from before. See, look, I don't know whose rod this is. Take this old prototype jerkbait off you're not supposed to see. Okay, I'm tying on, this is a Guggen Squad Zinger right here. This is a half ounce. You know, because we put our weights on 
all of our baits pretty much so you have an idea as soon as you bring out you're like is that a three eighths or is it a half i can't remember boom it's right there easy colorado willow tandem gold and silver it's probably the best overall spinner bait combination chartreuse and white color blade everything ever and i got a little uh just a tiny little grub trailer on there is a little delectable treat for them to focus in on rob needs a crankbait so all right so if i had to pick rob out a crankbait for this situation what pound test line you got up there bud 15 okay got him yeah get him rob i didn't know they had fish like that in here rob just caught a fish you guys can check it out on his channel i've been messing around with lures this morning so uh it's time for me to catch one i like the wind oh the wind the wind is uh this is an inaudible situation here Look at that smell that smell that trash. Mmm. Yeah. Smells like the fall season. Whoa! Wow! Wow! What you happened? I took the damn rod out of my hand. Oh, you got thumped. I got thumped. Yeah. Thump, thump. Why are they not on that moving bait? I don't know. I was reeling it up. And he took it right back down. Oh, why are you reeling it? Yeah, I'm gonna bring it back up. Well, I'm gonna take me a leak and then uh might just have to roll up in that marina over there i'm about to go on a nature walk with him that is a giant that is what i am talking about baby excuse me but where are the fish on this thing it should be a no-brainer this looks like a seven pounder ought to just eat it right here bird nuggets you just come out and just smoke the crap out of it I do, I do have a fish. Big one? Oh, my drag is not oh, going. Oh, I see him. I saw him. That's oh. a big fish. I saw him. Come on, get him. Get Dude, him my drag. Oh, oh, my gosh. Oh, he's a big one. Oh, my GoPro. It's, it's rolling. Is it rolling now? Oh, my gosh. I, I'm i not even sure there's a hook in this guy. Yeah, your drag's pretty, pretty <laughs> Dude, crappy. there was nothing going on. I was like, this is either a giant or... Oh, gosh. Thank you. I was about to say... What are we doing wrong here? That's a yeah, nice fish, dude. Good head on. You want to swing him? Yeah. Heck yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. On that zinger, baby. That's two about the same size. Two exactly almost the same size. Nice three pounder or so. That's a beaut. Man, y'all, I got lucky I, I caught that last one. The drag was not set. The fish just came out the right way. It was around some cover. Didn't dive in deep to it. Fish are starting to chase shad. They really are attracted to those those blades this time of year. Um, and you'll notice when you're throwing a spinner bait that the shad will sometimes follow it in. If they're following your spinner bait, that's a good thing. That means the shad are about to spawn and uh, the bass are gonna really get them. Getting a thumbnail, Rob was helping me out. The fish actually uh, put its tail in my mouth. I got violated by the fish. So nice, nice fish right here. Look at that guy. Sometimes big bass make me uh, make weird noises. Here we go. Back into the shallows, my friend. See ya. Love ya. Dirty water. Where are these chasing, chasings of the shads? Are we on the wrong side of the lake? We're on the wrong side of the lake. It's about Deep. fishing. You have to, you have to fish the lakes to figure out where they're at. Yeah, that's, really that's, that's not really what happens with us. You just kind of go out there. You're hitting, hitting it fresh, hard. We're basically pre-fishing. Yeah. Wow. Is that it? You got bing bong? That was, that was some serious gill action there. Bing bong? You know, that's going to be our new thing now. Getting bing bong? Did you get bing bong? So far, I got Justin Timberlake. Got just dance, dance, dance. That's a good song. Oh, bing bong! Dude! You back there? No, no. My line was moving. Oh, no, no, no. What was that? That was a tree limb, my friend. 
You think so? I know so, because you're hooked into it right now. No, look at the boil, dude. Look at the boil. Oh, I, I had one. He was swimming with it, I swear. He just ran into it. Little update for you here after that one bass. We have tried to go back into, well, as far back as we can go, into this, this creek here. The shad are back here. They've moved back, but I'm just not seeing, like typically you'd see some sort of sign that a bass was like chasing shad, boils, something. We're just not seeing that. So it might be a little premature in this area. We're going to just wind up the old Yami here and, and head down to another part of the lake, you know. Only a few fish. So... Which, you know, we're pretty much on par for this lake at this point, but we'd like to have more. More and big, please. Look at that man in his cool pants. Just give it a an day. We'll just uh, focus highly, highly. Fresh off the mountains. Trying to get his dangle back. Actually had a really strong showing his first time back. watching it really focus back in on this craft. It's, it's interesting. It's like a renewed, it's got a renewed sense of uh, want for the fish. It's really good. Get that Polaroid ready! It's dominated. 10 incher. Probably what bit me the first time. Oh, buddy, I love you so much. Look at your little face. Let's examine you. Look at the belly. Give it a little tickle. Give it a little tickle on that belly. Mm hmm. All right, we're going to let you go. You're not quite sniff worthy yet. Hey, buddy, good game. Good game out there today. You did good. You did good. I caught one fish in the first three casts. I was like, this day is about to be amazing. I thought so too. And what's so weird is we caught, well, what time is it now? Almost one. One o'clock, we haven't had a bite in two hours. Give it an A for affordable. Not many lures were lost or used or chewed up. So, it is time to pack it in and head back to the HQ. Woo! HQ baby! Look at the twinks! Which one's better? Some say Rob. Some say the Silver Bullet. I don't know. I don't know. What is the name of your boat? I don't even think I ever got that far with it. Yo, he got a new fan in here and it is gigantic! Look how big it is! This could be the world's biggest fan and it does move a lot of air. It's so nice here in the summertime. Caught a couple of nice fish, above average fish, I would say, on our way to a big sack, and then it just it just fell off. We <laughs> catch two three pounders. It was gonna be a big bag kind of day. You know what it was? It was like just enough. It was like, hey, keep going, keep going. You got a good thing going. Hang on now, we're getting steady. It was like, hey, you got a good thing going, and then all of a sudden, it turned into nothingness, and it kept us going. So. Where do you think that we messed up? We should have stayed on that point. We should have put the hammer down. We shouldn't have worn the same shirts, as always. Maybe if we didn't wear the same shirts, we wouldn't have caught the same exact kinds of fish, the same size and everything, and we would have had a better day. We never really talk about patterns together, I feel like. This is kind of a unique thing. I don't, th I don't think that they were actually... Okay, dude. I don't think people knew this, but there was like 200 boats there fishing on Saturday in some oh, tournament. Yeah. I forgot to mention that part. So I think there might have been a little bit of a... Uh, some face damage. Face damage to some of those fish. So they probably weren't really... They had a little lockjaw. Yeah, a little birdie said... Uh, yeah, hey, they might be moving back. chasing baits they're, up in that creek. They're moving back into the creeks. So they're starting to chase a little bit of bait. They're chasing that bait. We're like, okay, we'll go back to throw moving bait. There wasn't a single... Uh, did, did we get bit on moving? No, we never saw a shad actually get busted. And I've been on some other lakes where you've seen that lately, and I thought, oh, well, sure, that's logical. <sighs> no. It was blowing 15 sustained, probably with gusting to 20. Just sustained. 
So anyway, we never really talk about these things on camera together. It's usually like my perspective and then Rob's perspective, you know, over there. And I thought, well, why not we'll just do a little, little time on where we went wrong today because obviously something did. Anyways, God bless you. Thank you for being here. Disassembling a lot of your gear yeah. over here. So I know what's going on. I just I wanted to tell the audience in case they didn't know. He's got a pile of rods, like his last season's rods. It's about time to get some new ones for the next season. Um, me and Rob are actually getting entirely new boats soon as well. So it's kind of that, that time of year, I know, just amazing. We're so lucky. You're doing a giveaway, right? For, I'm giving away for yours. Mine. Yes, mine are giving away on Instagram, but I was told through the grapevine that somebody else might be giving away theirs to the YouTube channel. Yeah, that's gonna be me. That's gonna be me. I got I got a little inspired. I've got a large collection as well of rods uh, that I've used for years, and you know I probably don't cycle through them as much as I, I should. It's um, you know we go hard, we go hard out on the water. Some of the rods, I'm not gonna lie to you, they got scratches. Some might be. Yeah, mine. Uh, mine they're not perfect. Missing eyelets on some. There's, yeah, some of the eyelets might be missing, but overall still really good rods. And I remember when I was at the, the ripe young age of high school fishing, uh, there wasn't, that wasn't around when I was there, uh, but high school literally trying to learn how to fish and learn all these techniques and learn about all the different rods and everything and learning how expensive uh, rods can be as well. So I thought it would be a good idea to do a giveaway as well. So what I want you to do, if you are a student in high school uh, and you're a part of a high school bass fishing team and you think your team needs some rods or if you are a representative of the school, maybe the coach, maybe the team leader, I don't know, maybe the dangle expert, whatever's going on, let me know in the comments down below uh, why you think you should get the rods. Let me know a little explanation of what's going on. I'll read through the comments, we'll pick one, we'll ship that big old bundle out your way. It's probably gonna be, honestly, at least a dozen, probably about 15, 15 rods or so. And you're probably gonna wanna leave your contact info, either an email or Instagram account, because that's the only way you can send them. Yeah, message. thank you, so, Rob. Yeah, Rob knows about the internet. He's, he's one of those young guys out there, just, <laughs> just freshly in his 30s, you know. I've been out here for a minute. So thank you. Yes, you want to leave your, your social contact, however we can contact you down below. Probably wouldn't put your personal phone number out there. But let us know how we can contact you and we'll send some rods your way. I think it's a win-win. I'll get fresh new rods. You get some lightly or possibly heavily used rods that have been, <laughs> been dangled, but they'll be usable and you'll be able to go catch fish on them this season. Hey, we're back from the HQ. Y'all a little dark in here, sorry. Cut that on. Hey. Steph is here. She's preparing some things. Um, first of all, I didn't even know this rug was happening, but I come in, there's a big flannel looking rug right here in the middle of my man cave. She didn't even ask for my permission, that's okay. She's my wife, I love her so much, and it actually looks really good. And there's a tangent right now, y'all, to get ready for a trip. So, as you know, I just got back somewhere deep in the mountains. When I got back, I was showing Steph all these photos and videos, and she was like, I wanna, I wanna do that, I wanna do that. I was like, uh, do you really? I don't think she watched the whole series that I did on elk hunting. I just, I kinda showed her the good parts, told her some of the good parts. She's had this adventurous kinda spirit, and we've done some outdoor things, but we've never gone like full deep into the woods together. And she says she wants to do it. So I've got sort of an adventure plan. And she's been, pre she's a huge prepper. I just kind of grab a couple sticks, maybe a couple knives, head out the door. Uh, mega prepper she is. So we've kind of got remnants of these sorts of things going on here. It's kind of a mess, but I hear her upstairs. Honey bunny! Hey. Are you happy to see me? I am. You like your rug? I like the rug. Oh! I think it's good. Good. It's a little huge, but I do oh, like no, it. It's good. It's, it's very flannel. Sizing. It matches, look. It's very me. It's kind of like that. I, li I like flannels. Like well, I feel like this shirt is only appropriate because... Did you tell them what we're doing? Well, I told them that you're about to get a, like kind of a peek into an adventure that I'm not sure you're really ready for. Flannel but approved. Flannel approved. She's getting ready, y'all. She thinks. She thinks she's ready. 
So you've been doing some food prep in here. Uh, what have you been working on? Well, this is the room. Oh my gosh, look how much stuff is on the... Oh my gosh, all I took was a couple mountain houses and some potatoes. <laughs> Holy moly adventure time. What the um, heck? With your wife. You got everything from jet puffs and, you know, high-end maple syrups. <laughs> Graham crackers, holy crap, look at all that stuff in here. Jeez, canned foods, fresh fruits, and vegetables. You got all your tools organized, oh my goodness. <laughs> you put me in charge of cooking, oh. and the healthy chew is going mobile. <laughs> wow. Okay, y'all, uh, you might be the best camping adventure partner ever. Look at this, she's getting prepped. She's getting prepped for right Yes, Hey, right, let me go ahead and give you a fist bump on that. I think, like I said, you're never going to want to go camping without me again. <laughs> Maybe that's the move. Maybe that's the move. Well, I'll let you keep working in here. Okay. Uh, just, uh, just wanted to check in and maybe I, maybe I had the story wrong. Maybe you are ready. <laughs> Definitely going to have more on that coming up soon here on this channel and over at the Lake Life family channel. Plan on doing a bunch of videos. So stay tuned on both channels for more of that. And do not forget to comment down below uh, for your high school team. I don't want anybody out there that's not on the high school team or represents a high school team commenting down below trying to scam me out of some rods. That is not cool, man. But I do want to give all my rods away to uh, to some high school teams because I know, I know some of y'all really need them. So just let me know down below. Don't forget to hit the like button for some outdoor greatness and got a lot more to come, y'all. So stay tuned and I'll see you right back here on the next one. It's got a lot of creek arms in it. Lots of creek arms. Lots of rock too. Yeah. Lots of rock. That's not a lake. That's one thing. If you want fish rock, you want to go here. You go there. Oh, oh yeah. God, I am so sorry. Woo! Nose jammer. I, was, I am so sorry there. I tried to get more line out. That's, I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs>